Okay, so tell us your name first. Hi, I'm Lois Grasso, a teacher at the Downingtown Area School District, also here to present today at the ASCD conference. Okay. And your partner today is? Uh, Emily Vanna, I teach fifth grade in Downingtown, and I'm co-presenter. Great, now tell us um, more about your session, uh, the topic and the types of things that you expect to present to the ASCD attendees. The, the session's geared for teachers and administrators. The topic session is a case study uh, using technology to differentiate learning and to engage students uh, as, as well as uh, to uh, add rigor to the curriculum. So there's a lot of different ways that teachers uh, have to do these things to meet the growing diversity needs in the classroom. So we're trying to present, we have four teachers that are going to be presenting a lot of tricks of the trade, things that we have used and mastered and we really feel uh, are worth sharing with, with other colleagues. Now maybe you can share with some of our viewers some of those tricks of the trade or how you differentiate uh, learning. We've got a couple programs we're going to be talking about today. Um, some both sign up for, such as Red Zuli, uh, which is a great way to differentiate for your class kids, um, both on interest level and on ability level. We're also going to be talking about Smart Exchange, which is a great interactive web tool for your smart boards that has a variety of lessons and activities um, that go both with curriculum and ones that you can build and add on to your own. Uh, we'll also be talking about uh, Moodle, Web 2.0 tools, Hippo Campus, TPAC. Um, so there's, there's kind of a collection of things that are available to go home and use today or talk to your district about investing in and involving yourself in later on. Well, great. So you're here at ACD as a presenter. In your role as attendee, tell us about some of the things that maybe you've learned while you were here. Did you attend any of the sessions or in the exhibit hall? Tell us what some of your findings may have been. Well, unfortunately, we're local Philadelphians. Downingtown's about 35 uh, miles from so, the convention so center. So this, day in. This, this is the last day of the session, but our first day in. Okay. Now, have you attended an ASCD conference before? Or is this your I first? have not. A couple of our co-presenters have. We've done ISTE conferences. There's one right Right here in Philly right. uh, over the summer. Now, I'll tell you now some of the other attendees have shared with us all the different choices of products and technology and services. Tell us some of the ways that maybe you cut through the clutter in your school and classroom to, to select and choose what you what you utilize. The challenge today for teachers is with growing class size due to budgetary constraints, uh, more diverse population than ever and us trying to uh, to really meet AYP standards that get increasingly more and more difficult every year. You have to maximize the amount of time that you have with each child in the classroom. And a lot of the routine stuff that you used to do face-to-face -face instruction for, like grammar instruction, or you know the simple how-to, the basic rudimentary uh, rules in every type of discipline, we basically are trying to flip the classroom, have that assigned for homework or little mini tutorials tutorial sessions or blended learning so that when we have the kids face to face we really are doing meaningful pull out sessions using differentiated instruction and that's so the structure of our day is a lot different even though you have kids face to face even in a secondary level the stand up and, and lecture uh, model is gone you're doing pull out groups you've got differentiated sessions and stations using technology going on within your classroom thank goodness we come from a district that has a lot of technology a lot of it's not one-to-one -one yet but it's close to it so we have laptops in the room that are available a network that works and we can have a lot of different projects spinning off to meet the the student needs and then you do these little pull-out groups with various students as needed so that's how we're really learning those kinds of tricks I was going to piggyback on that and you, you touched on it saying about the pull-outs so much of what we do in the elementary now is pulling out by ability level and really looking at the kids um, in terms of pulling small groups and while you're doing that making sure that you can meet the needs of the other kids in the classroom so that they're not being non-productive or causing disruptions or, or causing other difficulties for their own impacted learning so we've, we've grown accustomed to using that technology really to help us so that we can work with the groups that need the support and the extra help while we offer enrichment and on grade activities and other um, motivational ways of learning for the kids in, in the rest of the class going on. Uh, and additionally also teacher planning time has become so imperative that you maximize all your planning time 
so that you're you're getting the most out of what you can. And with the web and with all these other tools, we we just open an entire market of supporting each other as teachers of you put something up there I can get it I put something up there you can get it and sharing and really building this whole educational community of help where instead of maybe having to design plan build a lesson on your own and spending hours you can go out there and find somebody else that's created it borrow it from them and bring it right into your classroom the next day uh, it really it really has been so helpful um, for so many reasons right we're not isolated anymore in the classroom like we were right, in the right. past it's basically we're into social media with the rest of the world and so good it, are there any last things that that you might like to share with um, viewers who maybe weren't fortunate enough to attend today's conference. Uh, are there other types of um, you know web resources or things that that you use in your in your everyday uh, work life that you'd like to share with some of our viewers? I would say if you are not part of a professional learning com community online, you need to to join one because it is the best way to stay abreast of everything that is changing constantly in education. And if you're not on the 21st century train, um, mm -hmm. it's going to pass Pop you by <laughs> right. real soon. Right. So Steve Har Hargaden is a great um, blogger. Uh, he, he runs Classroom Web 2.0. They run wonderful sessions uh, that are archived, as many of these social media and uh, uh, professional learning communities are. ISTE is another one. I mean, you can pull down their stuff anytime, 24-7, and learn something that you, you know, want to know a little bit more about. Yeah. So, And any web search, any any web search will pull you in, in a direction that will gear you towards the right place and, and the right people. And one thing I know about teachers is we're always willing to share help and communicate with other with other fellow professionals. So, um, you know, throw out a, a comment on wiki answers or throw out, you know, something out there and, and you'll get responses from anybody who's willing to help that can help you. Great. Well, Lois and Emily, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Yes. Have a great show.